Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and on today's menu, we have some lamb shoulders. Yes, not the lamb chops. These are the lamb shoulders. The shoulder of the lamb. Lamb le shoulder. Yes. Lamb shoulders today. That's what's on the menu. And we have some Idahoan sour cream and chive mashed potatoes. Yes. That's what's on the menu today. I have three packs of these. And as you can see, my water is boiling in the background over here. Uh, so I need to get those mashed potatoes in. So I almost forgot to grab my camera. I said, girl, you're cooking, where's the camera? So anyway, let's get over here to the potatoes. Let's get over to the potatoes. I've got my Gotham pan. Oh yes, oh yes. Got to be Gotham. Gotta love Gotham, yes. So, we have our boiling water. And one thing I love about these mashed potatoes, I'm tired of doing that voice. Anyway, <laughs> all right. One thing I like about these uh, quick potatoes is easy instructions. Two cups of water to a boil, dump in your potatoes, mix it up, stir it up, and that's it. You got potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, however you want to announce, pronounce it. All right, so let's get these cut open. Dump the potatoes, and you guys, as you can see, sour cream and onion, oh my goodness. Sour cream and onion potatoes. Put one pack in, and I like to stir it up. I'm telling you, I mean like quick and easy potatoes. They are making it so easy for us, they, they really are. Quick and easy mashed potatoes. Just stir it in there. And the uh, instructions were two cups of water per pack. So I've got six cups of water in here. I'm going to cut this heat down. Two cups of water for each pack. And that's it. You just mix it up for about two minutes. And calm down, potatoes. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. All right. Anyway. So. Oh, potatoes. Calm down. I got my heat turned down. It just needs a minute to calm itself down. Calm down. The people are watching. Calm down, girl. The people are watching you. People watching you act up. All right, so I got my heat turned down. And sometimes I add a little milk to my potatoes, especially these kind of mixes. I'll add a little milk. Or sometimes I have to add a little bit more water. So, yeah. That's what it's looking like I'm gonna have to do, so. Let me get, I'm going to add a little milk, a little milk, hold on y'all, hold on, let me get the milk, alright, hopefully that heat done calm down, okay, calm down, it's not that serious, oh, she still ain't calm down, but we're going to add a little milk, Add a little milk. Looks like I'm adding about half a cup of milk. Sometimes you have to do that with these potatoes. Especially the packs. I've cooked them so many times. Add milk. Add water. Let's see. Because the girls, we like our mashed potatoes nice and creamy. But still, you know, got that mashed potato flavor and taste to it. And consistency to it, you know. So, got my heat cut down. I'm going to cut this down real low. So, I've got my heat on the low now. Because the mashed potatoes are done. Once you add them to the water and stir them up, that is it. They are done. Wait, you guys. Okay, let me make sure y'all can see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it. See, these mashed potatoes are done. Let's see. I don't like... Let me see. Getting mashed potatoes everywhere. Sometimes that's how I be when you're cooking. I know I shouldn't have this fork in my pot. I'm trying to scratch my pot up. Let me taste them and see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are real good. I do want to add more milk though. 
I do want to add a little bit more milk. I'm going to add a little milk to the center. About a third of a cup. Third of a cup. Let me mix that in. Yeah. You just, you know, add and just let it be what you want it to be. Y'all know how it goes. But I love these quick potatoes. Quick potatoes. You know what? They're making everything quick and easy. Unfortunately, sometimes that's how it is. You know, you ain't got all day to cook. That's just, you know, the truth of the matter. You ain't got all day to be in the kitchen. So you want to whip up something quick, you know, but you still want it to be a nice, good meal for your family. So, all right. We got them stirred up real good. They still look thick. I want to add a little bit more milk. I probably do. All right. Okay. All right. The mashed potatoes are done. Quick and easy. Boil your water. Add your mashed potatoes. That is it. That's it. That's all for the mashed potatoes. I think I'll add a little bit more milk to that later. But anyway, let's move on to our lamb shoulders. Back over to the shoulders of the lamb. Okay get y'all over the dish all right so what i've done here i've melted some butter and i put some thyme seasoning in it <coughs> excuse me so i'm gonna pour a little bit out of it in the bottom of my pan a little bit of my butter the bottom of my pan i'm gonna save some for the top so as y'all can see i got a little butter in there and I will make sure I leave in the description box, I'm going to leave the link to my meal prep video, how I prep these lamb shoulders, so you guys can see that. But as you can see, I've got onions all in the dish, all in my pot, my, um, my thing here, my container here with the lambs. So I'm going to get that butter spread it around there. Okay. We got to squeeze all this lamb in here now. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees, 350 degrees, and I'm going to slow cook these in the oven. I'm going to cook them, um, I'm going to see, probably about an hour. I'm going to slow cook them. Oh, they look so good. Definitely going to have to stuff all this in here. I should be able to fit it on in here. Put some onions at the bottom here. Hold on, let me get some of these onions out. Put some onions at the bottom. Hold on. Okay, get some onions at the bottom here. So some onions underneath. Okay, I've got some under there. Let's get some onions over here. Okay. Underneath that one. Okay, so we got onions everywhere. Okay. All right. Well, I got two more pieces of lamb I need to squeeze in here because y'all know once this cook up, it's going to, it's going to draw up anyway. So I got to squeeze these other two in here. Yes, I do. Let me get these onions down. Squeeze it on in there, girl. Squeeze it in there. Mm, let me see. Try to put this one this way. Yep. That way. I'm not going to be able to squeeze all of this meat in here. I'm not. I am not because I got one more piece but you know what I'm gonna put it in there I'm gonna put it in there I'm gonna put it in there should be fine let me put my onions and stuff my juices on there let me get my hands washed y'all hold on one minute I know it's a little crowded but it should be fine It should be fine. I know, like I said, it's a little crowded, but ain't gonna hurt nothing. Let me see. You get this in here. You squeeze this. Okay. Yeah. Let me flip. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Yeah. That should be fine. That should be just fine. Get some onions across the top here. Oh yeah. 
that looks good because we all know once it cooks down it's going to get smaller anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of my let me make sure you guys can see hold on let me bring you in more hold on move my tripod over here okay i'll bring y'all in a little bit all right i'm gonna pour this rest of my butter and my thyme over the top I am going to put the uh, put some aluminum foil over the top of this. I am going to do that. And like I said, I'm going to cook it for about an hour. Uh, one thing about uh, lamb shoulder, one thing about lamb period, it's a very nice tender meat. You don't have to do much to it. Don't have to tenderize it like it's a steak. Let me bring y'all in. Yeah, you don't have to tenderize it like it's a steak or anything, you know. So, let me bring y'all around so y'all can see real good. Yeah, like you don't have to tenderize it like it's steak, you know. Lamb is very, very tender. That's one thing I love about lamb. It's very tender. Let me get my dish cleaned up here because y'all know how I am. I am definitely a little OCD. That's fine. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil, guys. Take it in so y'all get a real good look at that goodness. I'm um, going to put it in the oven by an hour. I'll let y'all know how long it took. If I forget, I'm going to put it in there for an hour because sometimes I do be forgetting. So I'm going to put it in the oven 350 for an hour. So I'm going to cover it with lunar foil and we got the mashed potatoes. I'm telling y'all, this is a real quick meal. It really is. So, I mean, it's a nice gourmet meal. You know, some nice grilled lamb shoulders over mashed potatoes. Ooh, you know, nice gourmet meal. And it looks like you, you've been all day. But you ain't going to be all day. So, when I come back, y'all, unfortunately, it will be the grand finale. So, I'll come back and show you guys. And I'm going to show you my little secret uh, recipe uh, that I'm going to add to the lamb. Y'all will see. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I'm back. Checking in on my lamb. They've been in now for about, about actually about 35, 40 minutes. So, as you guys can see, they are not done yet. They're not done yet. Of course, they got a little bit more cooking to do. I just wanted to come and give y'all a little sneak peek at what's going on with the lamb chops. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to flip them around. I'm not going to flip them over. They should cook just fine all by themselves in this dish. Just wanted to peek in. I'll let you guys get a little look at it. And I also want to give a little education on the lamb because we all know everybody be ordering the lambs. And you know, and uh, when they go out to these fancy restaurants. And lamb is a very uh, expensive meat. Uh, so let me just, you know, educate you guys. This is the kind of stuff I do. I mean, when I cook... <laughs> I like knowing. I just like knowing things, uh, especially when I cook. So anyway, all right. So Google it for you guys to see here. Uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, you guys see it. All right. Um, says here, uh, lambs in the USA is relatively inexpensive. Is expensive because lamb are not factory formed and they weigh less than pigs and cows, yielding less meat per animal. There's a finite finite number, meaning finite means like limited. I Google that too. Uh, there's a finite number of ribs in each lamb and we price the tender meat which drives the perceived value up even higher so that's why lamb is so expensive because I mean you know lambs aren't like factory farm kind of animals you know it's like a you know limited amount of meat so it's pricey it's expensive that's what makes lambs so expensive in case you didn't know but yeah and I also want to show you guys hold on one second I go with one more thing Make sure none of my government information is on this screen. All right, anyway. So, yeah. All right, it's not. All right, so I also Googled this, and it shows, because, you know, I wanted to know, like, what part of the lamb is the chops in the shoulders? Shoulders, duh. I know what the shoulders is. But anyway, yes. So, it says here, the main rib section of the lamb, the rack is made of 16 ribs, also called chops. So, that's where it comes from, the chops. And as you can see, I'm kind of trying to make this picture bigger for y'all. The ribs, the loin, the sirloin leg, like tells you different parts of it. And over here, this picture, I like this picture too. This picture tells you, you know, like the different parts, like the chops. Like it shows you everything. Just so y'all know, you know, I like, you know, like I tell y'all, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. So, all right, y'all. I'll be back um, to show y'all. Y'all already saw the potatoes. When these lamb chops are, I'm not lamb chops, duh, the uh, lamb shoulders, I also Googled that. The lamb shoulders aren't, they're not that expensive because like the uh, chops, they're not limited. So anyway, all right guys, I'll be back. Enough of that. I'll be back to show y'all the grand finale on these lamb shoulders. 
Okay guys, I just took the lamb out of the oven. As you guys can see, I've got my potatoes in the background over there. Zoom y'all into them real quick. Put that little parsley and all that good stuff across those potatoes. Sour cream and onion. Don't forget. Sour le cream le onion. Oh yes. And let's take y'all into these lamb shoulders. Oh yes. Now that I've educated you guys on the lamb, you will appreciate the meat all the more. It is for night. Lamb meat is for night. Hmm. Limited amount. Don't forget that, guys. Taking y'all into all the goodness, all the juiciness, those onions, all. Ooh, okay, y'all. All right. Let me bring y'all out. Ooh, wee. Okay, so let me show y'all my little secret that I throw across my lambs. Some honey. Yep. Publix honey, whoever honey you got. Just give them like a little, you know, like a little sweetness. Like a salt, salty sweetness. You know, kind of gives them a little glaze too, but I just run a little honey across them. That's it. That's it, y'all. Take it all in now that I put that honey across it. That's it. That's all, y'all. All right. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, of course, at Arika Misha, guys. And don't forget what I always say. Knowledge is power. Don't forget to go in the description box. Click on that link to subscribe to my second channel over there. That is my spiritual journey over there. Thanks, guys. Bye.